In celebration of World AIDS Day on December 1st, the National AIDS Commission invited five young artists to artistically portray their interpretation of the disease using red, black, and white colors. Their artwork were officially handed over to partner agencies on Thursday. Uh, the artists finished the work on Friday, but uh, we felt in order to give them and give the artwork itself some kind of reflection and some kind of meaning, we had to do something uh, special for them. So today we're doing a small presentation of the artwork and the artwork will be donated to key partner agencies um, within the HIV response. And so today the partner agencies are here as well as the artists themselves to do the, this handing over. So the, the agreement is that the, these agencies will uh, display the artwork along with a small bio of each artist within their, within their uh, institutions. Oriel Kawa has been painting for about seven years. He explains how he depicted the theme, the right to health within the context of HIV and AIDS. He did a graphic style painting, which he completed in six hours. I took the four demographics that I believe are in Belize, you know, the rich, the young, the old, the poor. So I took those four and like made them into different pots. So these pots are growing and they're in the shape of the human, right? So the demographic, the rich, the poor. So each of their pots are decorated differently, corresponding to how their class is. So now it just goes to show that health is available throughout all of us, from your young to your old, even if you're rich or if you're poor. So with that, all of us have the right to health. So health is available to all of us and you can always seek out treatment if you have any if you have been diagnosed with HIV and AIDS. It's not a very realistic painting, right? It's just more of like a poster like to show or to demonstrate, you know, raise awareness for AIDS. So I did combine a little bit of realism in it with the shading of the pots and whatnot. UNICEF was gifted with Kanisha Gooding's painting. The young artist used acrylic paint on canvas to interpret healthcare and HIV AIDS. There is always this quote that they say that AIDS has no face and we're trying to give awareness to that everyone deserves medical attention, medical care. So if you look at my painting, there is no face, there is no detail to that because every single person, regardless if you have HIV or not, deserves some form of medical health care. The colors were um, red, white, and black, and I meshed the colors together, the black and the red, because black shows that you are not, you don't have HIV, but it also, just because you don't have the disease doesn't mean you're not touched by someone who has, or in a situation, your work, co-workers or your friends can have HIV, and that's why they mel meld together, and the, um, the medical symbol is on the top to show that everyone deserves to fit into that blanket of healthcare. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.